Welcome to the Farms.com Risk Management uh, Educational Grain Commodity Marketing School video series. This video series is being brought to you and sponsored by DeKalb Brand Seeds to educate producers across Canada on how to do a better job of that grain commodity marketing. Well, in this eighth video, we're going to be talking about currencies. We're going to particularly look more closely at the U.S. dollar and Canadian dollar to determine what impact, if any, they have on grain prices. We'll look to the past to get some insight into the future uh, and to help you do a better job of that marketing. So currencies in general very difficult to predict at the best of times. A currency's value really is determined by supply and demand for that currency. However, this supply and demand is not necessarily determined or influenced by one single factor. There's many. Uh, one of the factors is the economic climate. There's also the political climate and market psychology. Economic policies such as GDP figures, interest rates, money supply, employment figures, trade balance figures, inflation numbers, budget surpluses and deficits can all have their spotlight in the short term. Uh, for example, inflation, uh, as you can see from this chart here, um, as inflation rises, it lowers the purchasing power of that currency and therefore over time can lower demand for that currency. Um, the more healthy an economy, the better the currency will perform. Uh, the second factor can be political uh, risk or the political climate. In 2011, we've had a lot of civilian unrest, some geopolitical risks around the globe uh, that can cause um, currencies to, to be devalued. Internal, regional, and international political conditions can have a major influence on the currency. Political instability is very negative, while a physical, responsible government can be very positive for that currency. And then the last factor is market psychology. It's called fear and greed. And fear and greed can really sometimes take markets to extreme levels. Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, investors tend to maybe trade off of media headlines. In times of crisis, many investors will flock to the U.S. dollar as a global reserve currency, flight the quality. At other times, uh, they may buy the rumors, sell the news, and vice versa. Let's look more closely at the U.S. dollar index. This is a long-term chart of the U.S. dollar index. You can see over the last decade, it's really been uh, more or less falling versus all other currencies. Uh, it's the most widely recognized global currency index. It's, um, it tracks the U.S. currency against six other major currencies, the euro dollar being the biggest percentage at 56%, while the Canadian dollar weighting is only at 10%. Now, this is a chart comparing that U.S. dollar, U.S. dollars in black, whereas the grains, corn, beans, wheat are the colorful lines. Uh, going up and you can see the relationship that that US dollar has with those grain commodities. As that US dollar comes down, the grain commodities are moving higher. It's one factor. Uh, many commodities are priced in US dollars. A lower US dollar increases the purchasing power of that foreigners that's buying that commodity. This leads to an increase in demand or exports for that commodity. The opposite is also true when the US dollar is rising. This is the US dollar chart comparing uh, I believe the black is the euro dollar and the light blue is the uh, US dollar comparing the U US dollar to the euro dollar currency. Lately we've had European debt crisis through 2010-11 and you can see that when the euro dollar is falling we got the US dollar rising and vice versa but this can be short-lived. Um, if you go back to that chart you can see right at the end here that the um, Euro dollar in black has since recovered and that's causing for the U US dollar to fall. Let's look at the Canadian dollar more closely. This is a long-term chart going back about 40 years. And you can see in the last decade versus that US dollar that was falling, the Canadian dollar has been rising. Uh, and lately it's, it's actually uh, above par and approaching the 0708 highs. Uh, Canada has a wealth of resources such as gold, oil. Demand for these commodities remains quite high and supports a higher Canadian dollar. A higher Canadian dollar makes Canadian products more expensive, thus reducing demand in exports. This Canadian dollar can slow down canola demand and exports in Western Canada, can lower livestock producers' bottom line. It can also impact a producer's basis in Ontario by, by as much as two-thirds. A $10 rise in crude oil prices can add as much as three cents to that Canadian dollar and vice versa. Therefore, hedging the Canadian dollar can add more dollars to a producer's pocketbook. Uh, how do you hedge a rising Canadian dollar? Uh, 
Well, one can go long, buy Canadian dollar futures. Each contract covers up to $100,000 or buy call options on those futures. If you're not comfortable with futures and margin calls, one can purchase a forward derivative product offered by financial institutions to help manage the margin on futures. One little trick I like to use is I use the Dow Jones Industrial Average, that stock market in the States that's made up of the top 30 Dow stocks. And you can see from this chart where um, the black is the Dow Jones and the light blue is the Canadian dollar. There's a huge correlation between the Dow Jones Industrial Average and the Canadian dollar. Um, any good news from the US is good news for the Canadian dollar and the Canadian economy. We're their biggest, largest trading partner. And so a rising Dow Jones simply means the market's confident about the economy, corporate profits, and that supports a higher Canadian dollar. So in summary, currencies can have a large impact on grain prices and they can add to volatility over short periods of time. Understanding the many factors that influence currency and ultimately its direction can assist you in, in knowing the direction in grain prices as well. In our next video series, we're gonna look at knowing your cost production and why it's important to your grain marketing plan. Thank you for joining me today and spending some time. Hope I've shed some light and insight insight into currencies and how you can use this information to become a better and more successful marketer. We look forward to seeing you next time.